0.4 of an inch for three shots at 100. I'm really happy with that. Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Sauer S100 Classic Ceratec Rifle. Now I'll just show you all clear guys, uh, this rifle honestly would have to be the most requested rifle I've had in the last couple of months from you guys. So we'll give you a run by of it and uh, rest assured in this review we're going to go into great detail. So it's actually a really quite nice looking rifle. I must admit when I first picked it up Shoulder's really nice, um, the action on it is ridiculously smooth, and just an overall nice rifle in general. Now the caliber I got here is 223. Okay, it's um, available in numerous other calibers here in Australia from 223 right through, uh, you know, to 300 wind mag. So there's, like honestly, if you can't find a suitable caliber, um, you know, I'm not sure which caliber you'd be looking for. So uh, let's start off with the uh, barrel on this. The first thing that you notice about it is just this really nice grey ice Cerakote finish on it. It's uh, 56 centimetres or 22 inches cold hammer forged steel. Now uh, the 2D3 that I've got here, um, the twist rate is 1 in 10. So I found that interesting because normally you get you know, around that 1 in 9 or a 1 in 8 so you can stabilise those heavier projectiles. Um, or you know, pretty much the standard sort of hunting twist in the 2D3s about that 1 in 12. So yeah, it was very interesting to see that they've done this in 1 in 10, so I look forward to seeing the results. There is a um, sub MOA three shot guarantee at uh, 100 yards, so in other words, you know, with decent quality ammunition, we should be able to put three shots um, into an inch at 100 yards. Coming back to the action here, now we've got a 60 degree throw on the bolt. As I say, this action is just so smooth. Really impressed with it. The locking lugs at the front here, we've got three of them. And it's a push feed uh, bolt system. We've got uh, three position safety. One click back. You can still cycle the action, but naturally you can't fire. All the way back, locks the action, you still can't fire. All the way forward, you can fire. Now it's a really crisp uh, trigger on this, it's fully adjustable from one to two kilos or 2.2 to 4.2 pounds. Mine here breaks beautifully at just over two pounds, so around about that 2.2 pounds. Now the uh, magazine here is a polymer magazine. It's a double stack five round mag. Now on top here, I've just got some uh, Picatinny bases. Now, these will basically accept um, any bases that fit a long action Remington 700 on this rifle. So, you know, you can just get numerous different Picatinny bases there. I've just got some uh, cheap scope rings there and a very budget um, uh, Sig Sauer Whiskey 3 uh, scope. This is the 3 to 9 by 50. Now, I did review um, one of these scopes and look, I had no problems with them, but keep in mind they are made in the Philippines. So, you know, they are at that budget price. So this may, um, you know, just suit someone who's obviously looking at this rifle on a budget. We've got the bolt release just on the left-hand side of the receiver here. Coming to the back of the stock, we've got the rear sling attachment. Naturally, we've got the one at the front there, which you've already seen. And we've just got a nice, generous rubber kick pad. A bit of grip on the back there, so it should shoulder quite nicely. Now guys, uh, Sauer have got a pretty good name around the world, you know, uh, very high quality, made in Germany. So as I said, this is their budget um, rifle, so $1,095 it is from Cleaver Firearms. So, you know, um, for a German made rifle, yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm very keen to uh, put some rounds down range with this guy. So let's get out on the farm now and see how it performs. All right guys, so we've got a great selection of ammunition here. We'll start off with the 55 grain VMAX from Hornady. Then we'll go to the OSA loaded with the 55 grain Sierra Game King. Then we've got the Federal Premium loaded with the 52 grain um, Spear Hollow Point. Then we've got some 55 grain Soft Points from Ticker. And then last of all, some uh, Hollow Points 64 grain from Winchester. So what I'm gonna do is just try to achieve that MOA guarantee. So three shots down there at 100 of each ammunition.
Okay guys, so the first one was the 55 grain Hornady VMAX right in the middle there. And we got 1.3 inches, so a little bit disappointing with that. I thought that would have went better through the rifle. Then we come up to the OSA ammunition load of the 55 grain Sierra Game King. We've come in at 0.9 of an inch, so we've made that MOA guarantee. Then when we come down to the um, Federal Premium loaded with a 52 grain spear, look at that. 0.4 of an inch for three shots at 100. I'm really happy with that. When we come up to the uh, ticker ammunition, once again, we'll get under an inch there. 0.7 of an inch. Then we come down to the 64 grain ammunition from Winchester. We got one, two, three, so that's blown out, I'd say over two inches. Yeah, 2.3 inches. So yeah, unfortunately no good with that ammo. So guys, my favorite is clearly the uh, Federal Premium there with the 52 grain spear. So I'm just gonna make some adjustments uh, with that and then have a little bit of fun. Loading of the magazine's pretty easy, guys. All you need to do is just push down under the lip of the mag and it loads fairly smoothly. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up my final thoughts on the Sauer. Now, look, this rifle is just a beautifully crafted rifle. I've really enjoyed doing the review. Just a really super smooth action there. Nothing to complain about whatsoever. You know, the accuracy there, sensational. A couple of the ammos definitely got that MOA guarantee, so no issues there whatsoever. The only thing that I have noticed, okay, and this is only a slight negative, but the magazine. So it comes out fine, but when you put it back in, see, sometimes when you push it in like that, it almost is dislodged, okay? And you can't <laughs> get it up into that mag well. So what you need to do is just take it out, push in again, and then it's fine. Now I'll try that again. Yep, that's fine. Yeah. It's what I thought, when you sort of tilt it a little bit forward, if you're not directly on, it just sort of jams, okay? Push it from the back and up, and it just lodges home perfectly. So, yeah, look, for me, guys, that's a little bit of a bugbear because, you know, if you're out in the field and you want to do a quick mag change, I mean, not every time are you going to get the angles 100% right. So you want to be able to just get it back lodged there be able to load that next round so look it's only a minor thing and I'm pretty sure if I um, you know use this rifle for some time I'd get really used to it and I'd get the feel for how to lodge that magazine but it's one of the real bugbears guys you know like I review a lot of firearms and just there's a good handful of firearms that just seem to have issues with magazines um, you know and I, I really think that a lot more attention should be paid to it because really I mean, people are going to be changing magazines out in the field. And I mean, if it jams or you've got some sort of inconsistency, I mean, that's enough to turn some people completely off a firearm. But anyhow, look, guys, apart from that, no other complaints. This rifle is just an absolutely beautiful rifle. Okay, hope you enjoyed the review. So till next time, we'll catch you then.